I don't like it when we have painful stories, you know. But unfortunately, in the world that we live in, pain is part of our journey. Hey, because i And I am Sims. It's at the right Sims on Instagram. Now today's video kicks off with such painful news. Yesterday we heard of the loss of Usis Jessica Mbangeni, our beautiful, talented, poetic, bold, courageous. Oh, guys, there's so much I can say about Ujessica. Loved, loved, loved her. And to speak about her in past tense is I still I still can't believe it, you know. And as we were digesting that, we heard of the news that Usis Tabi Sosikwan is no longer with us, the radio giant also passed on. You know, I heard um her ex-husband DJ Fresh um talking about it and it was just like no man you know both um families um released um statements um regarding the loss of their um respective family members um this jessica no sister so what a month guys oh august we've lost to mom Kony, we've lost to mom zanelle now we've lost to sis jessica and mrs tabiso like umshaba awunoni death do not be proud hey we continue to pray for you i can imagine what the families are going through i can imagine the pain now what you are about to hear is one of the most disturbing stories that i have ever heard but unfortunately it's in south africa and it's in it's on a farm the farm stories that we have heard in our country so we are now discussing the death of two women who lost their lives so gruesomely and disturbingly on a farm in Limpopo. Maria Machato and Lucia Ndlofu were on Zakaria Johannes's farm. Right, they were on the farm stamp side looking for food. Right, as they were looking for food, little did they know that that would be the last time they would ever be seen alive. The farm owner, Ujanis. And his two employees, O Adrian Devet, and I didn't get the name of um the third. I didn't get the name of the third employee, but I want their names to be remembered for this gruesome act, right? They shot. An unalived Omariano Lucia. And if that was not enough, they took their bodies and fed them to pigs. What about this is saying that? these people regret their actions and it was unintentional what about this would ever make any court grant any of them bail and do you know what is worth maria's son saw the remains of his mom He found a pig still 
feasting on his mom's remains. That image will forever be embedded in his head. Bold of these men to apply for bail. Bold of us to assume that this is the first time this is ever happening allegedly. You cannot convince me otherwise. There are some people that are evil, heartless, and no matter what law you follow, there is no rehabilitation that is ever going to happen with people like this. Look at his face. Remember him. People looking for food. On a damp site. The South Africa that we live in. The Rainbow Nation. That we are sold. People that are always speaking out against farm killings and farmers um, being unalived are so quiet today. Hey, John Stainhazen. Weren't you guys talking so loudly about farmers being unalived? What about the farmers who are unalive? What about them? Crickets. I would say I'm shocked, but unfortunately, I'm not. This is what South Africa looks like right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I've never been so disgusted and it, it, it just speaks to how wild the story is with everything that happens in our country. This is probably up there with the most disgusting stories I've ever written up. Writ I don't even want to continue speaking because English is leaving me because I'm also just not 